Namaste again, so family. And so I'm continuing with the uh, um, September reading for the Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So I was still on Aries when I had to break because, like I've been saying, I don't want the videos to be too long because I don't want to lose the work. Okay, and um, so for Aries, um, like I said earlier in that video prior to this one. Uh, during the month of September, a lot of active traveling. And traveling, uh, for some of you, this could be to a black dominant region of the world. This could be the Caribbean. This could be Africa for some of you. But somewhere that is heavily dense with black people. Uh, um, having a lot of, uh, having a mass black population. Um, this could be to see a friend, okay. This could be, you know, to see a, you know, a friend of the black ethnic group, uh, a foreigner who you're very fond of. This could be um, why you're going to be traveling. Um, and, um, but, you know, this is like, you know, a playful, a, a playful energy, someone that you're very uh, fond of. Okay. So, um, I see that happening during the month of September. For some of you, this is a mistress, to be honest. Could. Not necessarily for all of you. But this is just a playful energy, okay? But, the you know, September, it is like, you know, um, you gotta travel during the month of September. That is what I'm also getting. You have to. It is time for you to travel, okay? It is time for you to travel. Um, as well as this could be, you know, someone in your family was, you know, uh, transitioned and, you know, I've been getting some of you traveling towards a, uh, to attend a funeral, okay, a funeral service. Now, this could be someone who's got, uh, Leo highly aspected because during the, you know, eighth month, there's a death in your family and this could be the death of your mother or your, your wife. Now, for some of you, this isn't to see a mistress your mother could have leo highly aspected okay and you know you're traveling or this you know this is you know because she's falling gravely ill during this month and you're traveling to see her maybe to you know cheer cheer up her, her countenance or you know just to see her one last time before she passes on so i'm getting like someone if your mother isn't gonna die this month because we're still in August, or if she's not yet dead, she is gravely ill, or she's she's gonna fall gravely ill, okay, uh, during the month of September. Um, of course, this could be because of smoking. Someone could have uh, um, uh, developed cancer here from smoking, but also this could be, you know, um, she has contracted a virus and she's going to pass from this virus. And so uh, she might have already contracted this virus. This could be Delta. This could be COVID-19. And, you know, she's going to pass this month. Okay. Um, but I see like, you know, this person, if it is a virus like COVID-19 or something of that sort, this could be, you know, she's going to pass in her sleep. And I'm getting, you know, for, you know, it's going to be a peaceful uh, transition. She's going to pass peaceably in her sleep um, if it is COVID-19, okay? Also, if it is cancer, um, she might pass peaceably in her sleep just the same. But this person, they're going to pass away in their sleep. If this is you, you're going to pass away in your sleep areas, okay? All right, but I'm also getting that someone is smoking and they should not. This could be you, Aries, or your mom, or this could be your spouse, someone you've tied the knot with, okay? They're going to pass in their sleep, or they're going to pass from cancer, okay? It varies for each of you, okay? For some of you, Aries, this is a child who lives overseas. You're separated from this child uh, by water, and this is not something you are aware of this is something that is hidden from you okay this person they're smoking but you are not aware not even the slightest that they're they're smoking okay you are uh, oblivious to the fact that this person is smoking but they are a smoker and they're going to die from this also for some of you this is a child overseas who's going to pass from a virus this could be COVID-19 Delta something else 
or this could be a CD because I got that for another fire frequency. Um, but like I've got that for some of the frequencies. So this could be any virus, okay? Uh, as well as it could be cancer for some of you. It all varies, okay? This varies really for um, individual individual areas, okay? Uh, some of you are gonna the the listen. The family system and structure is being changed. It is year of the ox sub frequency five Leo frequency change. But this change is destined it, is, it ain't something you should be shocked about like oh my god oh my god no even if it is oh my god oh my god it is just it is still destined with that leo frequency it isn't something happening suddenly okay so i'm also getting to that uh, you could be aware that this person has cancer they have a form of chest cancer or breast cancer you are aware of this okay um, for some of you, this is uh, an elderly person, someone who's aged, you know, they're old. So, you know, they are, you know, um, gonna they're going to pass soon, okay? Because, like, nobody lives forever. But, like, um, the point is, you know, this death isn't going to, you know, be that much of a shocker, okay? I'm not really getting that. Could be because we have the 11th house in Taurus shock to family systems shock to families so this could still come off as a shock because like y'all probably weren't prepared for something but um i'm getting this though is someone that you're separated by uh uh you're se separated from by water okay so this person they do not live in the same country as you they do not live in the same state as you they live away from you okay all right so um if that makes anything you know uh that i feel that that clarifies a lot so y'all have a gist of who it is because if you are living with your spouse this ain't your spouse if you are not living with your mama this is your mama okay so if you're not if your child is not in the same country as you uh this could most likely be your child, okay? And and that's that. If your mama is living in a different country from you, this most likely is your mama, okay? Or this could be you, Aries. You gonna you're gonna transition in a foreign country that is, you know, maybe not foreign to your mom, but it is, you know, she's not there. She's not living in that country, okay? So that's that. But I'm getting some of you will be transitioning peacefully or some of you, your loved ones, are going to transition peacefully. There are changes to family systems and that's why there's going to be a lot of death. There has been a lot of death, okay? But people are going to be transitioning as well as, you know, the transitioning is like some family members moving up to star status, becoming famous, though, uh, um, you know, their work going viral you know them becoming stars or celebrities okay celebrated by the public okay receiving public worship okay some are gonna be seen as scumbags okay uh you know waste wasteman waste woman and just you know some you know family systems are just gonna be a family family dynamics are changing shifting we see that with tradition uh families gonna fall apart okay and there's there there's gonna be the coming together of new families okay so they're gonna be you know young families on the rise uh they say um the birth rate is down you know it's gonna shift to a different you know in a different form to a different aspect a lot of interracial relationships are gonna be on the rise uh a lot of pregnancy but this is mostly within the interracial community that is what i'm getting uh, uh black women with you know men from other races caucasian indian asian and you know uh vice versa okay so a lot of inter and i've been seeing the signs and omens on social media i'm like there is like a strange not really strange but a sudden spike in interracial relationships and it's really mostly between black women and men from other races and i'm not being biased but that's the truth and y'all heard me ranting on my fanny kusujo so instagram about the black community especially black men and how you know absurd they are because like they bear the seed and they cannot 
they cannot get white kids, you know? Like a black woman, she can get children of any race. But like, she's not so, you know, picky, picky, choosy like black men. And funny enough, black men, y'all just, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but um, I've been seeing the signs and omens. So when y'all hear me rant about things, it's not me being in my feelings. I come across things, yes, but it is what it really is, is me picking up on the energies that are to come. Pretty much that is what it is. Me picking up on energies that are to come. And that's what I've been, you know, uh, picking up on. You know, a lot of interracial dating. Because, like, you know, black men, a lot of you need to get your, your game intact. A lot of you need to um, get yourself, you know, sorted out. You start loving yourself because a lot of you don't really love yourselves. And so you don't want to give birth to children who look anything like you. And that's why you're so adamant on getting, you know, light-skinned black women knocked up. Not realizing they are to a black woman just the same. But, you know, not really realizing that you bear the seed, okay? And if you say mango seed, you cannot get um, pear or june plums or oranges, Okay. It's, but you're so absurd and you know you've you you've you've had a black woman um being so faithful to the black race you know and um all of that is being shifted because a lot of black women are tired of receiving leftover what what is supposedly love they now you know want um to be cherished and adored and be doted on and they're not really getting that from black men. A lot of you are broken. Not all of you do not take offense if you are, you know, a conscious black man. I'm talking about if you're honest, you would know that most black men are broken. Okay? They never grew up properly. And I spoke about that in my karma series. Because most, most... I'm not going to talk about that in my reading, no. Go and listen to my videos on my Fanny Kusu Joso Instagram. I'm going to leave that at that. Period. That. Okay? But the white woman, they don't want y'all anymore. You're too broken and damaged. The the Asian woman. The Indian woman. Okay? Not all of you. I keep, I'm going to repeat myself. But most of you. Because y'all, most of you get with these women of other races. Not because you really dig them. Or you really dig people's personas and who they are on the inside. Yeah? But it's because you don't really love yourself. You don't love the black skin. And a lot of you say you do. But you're full of shit. I'm going to tell you that. Okay? You're not being truthful to yourselves. It's all about the ego, the, the, the external appearance, you know, as well as reputation and prestige. What the world sees or who the world sees as, you know, important, which is, you know, a lot of facades. And you are oblivious to this. But I'm not going to get into, you know, um, sociology and that shit. So I'm going to leave this right. I'm going to leave that right there. I said for Sag, new perspectives, you know, new thoughts. Your thoughts changing. Also, some of your face changing, okay? Some of you will be getting darker. Sag, sun, uh, Scorpio, moon, air, uh, Leo, rising, uh, darkened complexion here. For whatever reason that is, on a more esoteric plane, this could be karmic justice for you doing something like sorcery, black magic, magic, and it ricocheting onto you, okay? As well as this could be, you know, um, just you, you know, your face changing, okay? With it's still a form of metamorphosis, okay? And, um... Some of you will be conflicted within yourselves. Not all of you. I'm just picking up on some energies there. Okay. Um, also. Some of you are going to be reaching out to a son. Or a child of yours. Could be someone who's got Aries highly aspected. Okay. Yeah. This is your child. Okay. Some of you will be traveling. To see a child. You'll be traveling, you know, uh, I guess, overseas to see your child. Because you're undergoing a form of metamorphosis. I feel like this is um, so obvious to public eyes. And you... I feel like some of you are, I did get that for some frequencies, okay? Some of you are trying to hide something here. Okay, so I don't know if you've got, um, 
Your 10th house or Saturn in Libra. Okay. You wanted to hide because of something ricocheting. Okay. This could be spell magic. So some of you are going to be traveling overseas. And this could be to see a child of yours. And I feel like this is to see them one last time. I think that's what it is. You traveling to see them one last time. I think this is like you saying your farewell, you saying goodbye. I think that is what it is for a lot of you. Some of you will be traveling overseas, okay, could be to see spouse, or this could be, you know, because something has changed, where travel is concerned, you could have lost your travel um privilege okay and you're gonna be traveling um i'm not really getting like back home but this could be what it is for some of you okay okay i'm getting some of someone losing their vision here losing their 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 sight okay and so maybe they're unable to help themselves anymore and so they, they've got to return you know to receive care or help okay okay so that's year of the monkey sad sun uh moon and scorpio the horizon also let me see Leo sun uh, yeah, you're traveling far distances, far dis distances. But some of you will be seeing, you know, um, Sun, Leo, Moon, and uh, Cancer, Aries rising. Some of you will be seeing your Jupiter. You will see. You will be seeing, you know, expansion and growth. Okay. Um, yeah. But like mostly for Sun and Sag, this is like you've seen Carm karma okay you've seen karma because it's a new beginning starting but i feel like it's really you're getting karma this month with that pisces frequency and some of you death could be your karma whether whether this is your own okay or you know the death of someone you worked closely with who has Pisces highly aspected or this could be a spiritualist their death okay now this could be someone who lives with you okay are you and this person you were doing things in secret okay that was just like sorcery yeah but that person they're gonna die and I feel like that's gonna trigger you to You're going to reveal something, yeah? So this could be a family member as well as it could be a friend. But someone's going to reveal something here, okay? To someone. And this could be an enemy. You could be reaching out to someone you've been attacking, okay? With this person who's going to die this month or who is already dead, okay? You're going to... This could be like... A spell magic buddy yeah like a cult yeah a cult of, 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 of you know yes. and something backfired on you or backfired on someone you were working with and this is gonna propel you to to reach out to this enemy of yours reveal something because like you're afraid someone here is gonna be afraid of karma oh my god this is like a story this is like this is like something else like like are you serious or this could be an Aries that you're gonna be reaching out to a child you're gonna be revealing something to them okay so you know Aries that there is something going on with you and Sag okay some of you so some of you are gonna be understanding and realizing something here you will understand the truth in regards to a certain situation because i feel like aries someone who's sunny sag 
moon in Scorpio, Leo rising, or your earth in monkey, either of them placements, or two people belonging to them placements, okay? Or three could be, okay? But they were doing work on you and someone else. Someone, you and someone were supposed to be together, are supposed to be together, but there were a group of people working against that. They're getting karma this month. They have already started getting karma this month. Yeah? Yeah, they have started. I mean, like, five days left in August. Okay. Um, if they have not yet, when it does happen, it's going to be so sudden and horrible. Especially if it hasn't yet started. Okay? But someone's going to reach out to you. Because, like, someone is going to die in someone's home here. And I'm still getting that Pisces frequency. Now, this could be someone who's a son in Pisces. Okay? Or someone born during the year of the pig. But someone is going to die in someone's home here. Because they were doing something sneaky. But guess what? They're going to reach out to you because of this death during the ninth month. And I feel like this is, like, the first week because of how things are going to be happening. Someone's going to move out of, you know, fear. Rightly so. And they're going to reveal something to you. And then you're going to gain perspective and understand what's really been going on. Okay? So, this could um, involve your mom and a, you know, a Pisces here. Or his, a spouse of yours and a Pisces here. Or your spouse who is a son in Pisces. That's what I'm getting. So, um, that's what I'm getting for you. Okay? Or this could be a, a spouse who was born to year of the pig. Okay? But someone here. Wow. Look at that. I'm also getting something here about homosexuality. Someone here is married to another man. Okay? That just came to me clear audiently and clear sentiently. Okay? Someone here is married to a, a male. Here is married to another man. And your spouse who could be a Pisces or someone born during the year of the pig they're gonna die and this could be from a virus they've had for a long time now or for some of you this is a virus like COVID-19 Delta something of that sort but someone they're gonna die or they've already transitioned okay I feel like this is a whole heap of mess. I feel like this is like drama 2.0. This is like something that is just like, no, that's just horrible. Anyways, you know what? This is the second part of a four part series. You want to get the extended, which is me di delving into the storyline with um, cartomancy style, okay? Then y'all pay. Pay your $11, okay, to get the, the soup uh, of the topic, okay? Y'all just got the food. You want the soup or the sauce? Pay me, you know, send, I, I, the details are below. Send me that screenshot. Uh, if you're not getting through to me on WhatsApp, send that message um, directly, you know, a multimedia text with the screenshot, okay? And um, use your number that you use on um, WhatsApp. And um, my name, my address, my phone number is there because they ask for that for, um, at MoneyGram. Okay, my account, you can send it into my account using Zoom Money Transfer. All you need, they told me at the bank, is my account number, and you just send the money into that. Show screenshot that payment. Do the same thing as you would send me the the screenshot of that MoneyGram receipt. Okay, so I can get confirmation. And I also need that transaction number from the money uh, gram receipt, which is why you should screenshot that and send it to me so I can know that you made that payment. And use that number that you use on WhatsApp because I'm going to be sending the link to the extendeds, two extendeds, okay? Um, could be one. I'm going to see how that goes. 
if I can do that in one recording. And um, I'm going to send the links to you, or the link if it's one, and you will get the, the, and the conclusion of the whole matter. Namaste.